Weekly Muslim prayer meetings on Capitol Hill have some calling for a Justice Department investigation. The meetings are sponsored by two Muslim congressmen and attended by congressional staffers. As CBN News first reported last month, Al-Qaeda cleric Anwar al-Awlaki led one of those prayer meetings shortly after the 9-11 attacks. Al-Awlaki was involved in several terror plots on U.S. soil. Other radical Muslims with terror ties have been invited to speak before the group. And now the American Center for Law and Justice wants the Justice Department to take action. And joining us with more on this is Jordan Seculo with the American Center for Law and Justice. Jordan, these are known terrorists who have been brought to Capitol Hill for these prayer meetings, and it's been going on for 10 years. Why have we heard nothing about it until now? You know, we, what we saw in the reports, Mark, is that the media didn't want to report this, so there were news outlets, kind of the mainstream media world, that said, no, we're not touching this, we'll be called Islamophobic, we'll be called bigots if we talk about that. And that's exactly what happened. When, when we started talking about this, immediately the left and, and the kind of pro-Islamic world immediately cries bigot and says, why, why do you want to investigate? The only reason you want to investigate is, is, is of course, because uh, we're Muslims. What we actually think, what I think is interesting in some of the responses from the Congressional Muslim Staff Association and ask, why did you invite al Waki? Why did you invite uh, Randall Ishmael Royer, who's serving a 20-year jail sentence right now for recruiting terrorists for a Pakistani group? Another guy whose organization was classified as a terrorist organization by the U.S. and U.N. in 2004, and the U.N. doing that is a big deal. And, and there's more. There are people that have been banned from the United States recently who are on this list. Why, if, if we're calling for an investigation, who was picking these people to speak is what we want to know. One of the former directors said it had nothing to do with the unindicted co-conspirators, the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE. Another one of the direct current people on the board of the Congressional Muslim Staff Association said, well, don't worry about these young congressional staffers. It's CARE picking it. This group meets under the U.S. Capitol dome. They actually meet in the U.S. Capitol at taxpayer expense. If CARE is running prayer meetings there and bringing in known terrorists, the American people deserve to know about it. Well, Jordan, what do you want to happen? What do you want to happen with all of this? I just want the truth to be exposed. That's what the American Center for Law and Justice is calling for. People should be able to know about these ties that these Islamic groups have. There's a problem, Mark. We see now that when we scratch the surface of most Islamic organizations, we find something we don't hope to find. We find that if you bring in speakers, they're connected to terrorism. Either they're about to run away from the United States like al did, or they're about to be sentenced to 20 years in jail like another one of their speakers was. It, it's a problem within Islam. As Christians, we can't change what's happening internally in Islam, but we cannot be afraid uh, of exposing uh, the truth of what's happening here in our own United States Capitol. Our hope is that the truth comes out, people see the associations here, and that if necessary, this group is not allowed to meet anymore. All right, Jordan Secula with the ACLJ. Thanks for bringing all of this to light. We appreciate it. Thank you.